Welcome back to the channel, Book Dragons. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I'm going to be talking about my most anticipated reads for the remainder of 2024. Now, note what I said there. This is not my most anticipated new releases for 2024. This is just books that I am really excited to read for what's left of the year. Uh, some of those are new releases, some are not, so we're going to talk about those. And I'm just really excited to share my list. These are not all the books that I'm going to read in the remainder of the year, but these are the ones that I'm most excited about. So, let's go ahead and get right to the video. Uh, got my eyes here because I do have a list made. <laughs> and we're going to start with one of my most anticipated new releases, and that is Somewhere Beyond the Sea by T.J. Klune. This is the sequel to The House in the Cerulean Sea, which I'm pretty sure is rare for T.J. Klune. I don't think he really writes sequels. So I was really pleasantly surprised when he announced this book. I I'm so excited to read it. It comes out in September. I already pre-ordered my copy, and I will be reading it. In September as soon as I get it on my doorstep so I am so excited for that book to come out all right so let's talk about the next one and that is also another new release and that is not till we are lost which is book five in the Bobaverse series this is an audible exclusive for however long he does the exclusive before it gets released in physical form. So I will be doing this one on audio because I have it pre-ordered. I will get it day one as soon as it comes out. And I will probably start reading it shortly around that time. And I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited to read the next Bobaverse book. Uh, that series has been really great for me. Uh, just a, a breath of fresh air, and you know they're they're easy reads, they're fun, they're lighthearted. Uh, so even even though it's you know it's a space opera, it's space exploration, but it, it's it's funny, lighthearted, like I said. So it's a really easy read, and I'm looking forward to the next installment. Okay, and then the next book that I'm really excited about, and I am also planning on reading this in September, I believe. And that is Vengeful by V.E. Schwab. I read Vicious earlier in the year, and I really loved it. I thought it was a great book, and I am very excited to read this. I used to think this was a duology, but apparently it's not. Apparently she does plan to release a third book in the series, so this is now incomplete. So I, I don't know if I'm going to end on a cliffhanger with this one or what, but I'm super excited to read this one coming up soon. All right, so the next one on this list is More Dune, and I know that's really ambiguous, but I really want to read More Dune. My goal for this year, when I first made my goals for 2024, I said that I was going to finish the Dune Saga. That has not happened yet. It still could. It still could. But I at least want to get Children of Dune and God Emperor of Dune under my belt before the year is up. That's kind of my loose goal. If I finish the remaining two books as well, that's awesome. But it's not looking super likely, so we'll see. I, I may get to this in October... Uh, my buddy Drew over at Drew's Book Reviews is doing a Dune read-along. And uh, I believe Children of Dune comes up in October. So I, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how that comes to that. If I get it in my Steinem Power before that, I may just go ahead and read it. But we, we shall see. But I'm super excited to at least read Children of Dune and hopefully God Emperor of Dune as well. Uh, I also want to read more Expanse. Uh, I was kind of loosely planning and hoping to maybe finish the Expanse series this year. But I don't think that's going to happen at this point. But I do want to read more Expanse books. 
I am on number five, which is Nemesis Games. That's the one that's going to be coming up next for me, and so I, I really want to get back to the Expanse universe and eventually finish that series, but at least get a couple more of those books under my belt for the remainder of the year. And then I'm really excited for The Shining by Stephen King. This is one of those books that I have heard is a must-read from Stephen King, and I do own the book. I've just never read it. I've never seen the movie either. Uh, I haven't seen or read Dr. Sleep either, uh, which is kind of the, the sequel. And so I want to read The Shining, and I do plan to read that in October. Uh, that's, that's a solid plan because October being a spooky month just seems like a really good time to be reading a good spooky book like The Shining. So I'm very excited to finally get to that and see if I like it as well as other people do. Stephen King has been kind of hit or miss for me. Some of his stuff I love, some of it I don't. So I'm anxious to try The Shining and see where I go with that. And then the next book on this list is Fool's Fate. That is the final book in the Tawny Man trilogy by Robin Hobb. I have been loving my journey through the realm of the Elderlings, and uh, I've been buddy reading this with Danielle over at Book Cara, and we recently finished Golden Fool, and so now we have one book left in that trilogy, and uh, our plan is to hopefully finish that before the end of the year. So I'm, I'm really excited to see how that trilogy ends. And I, I just, I can't wait to read more Robin Hobb. I'm just eating this up. It's been really great for me. The next one on this list is Rise of Endymion. Guys, this is the final book in the Hyperion Cantos by Dan Simmons. I have absolutely loved all of the Hyperion books so far. Yes, Endymion wasn't nearly as good as the Hyperion books were, but it was still really good, and I want to see how that second book in the Endymion section pans out. Uh, and then I'll be finished with the Hyperion series, and I really hope I can do that by the end of 2024. That's a loose goal, kind of. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself, but I really feel like I want to knock out Rise of Endymion before the year ends. And then, of course, we have Wind and Truth by Brandon Sanderson. This is book five in the Stormlight Archive, and it is the final book in the first arc of the Stormlight Archive. So this is completing the first arc of his planned 10 book series, and I'm super excited to see how this first arc ends, because I think the second arc takes place like 10 years in the future after this one ends. I think. That's, that's what I think I remember him saying. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm just really enjoying this series. Uh, not one of my favorite series of all time by any means, but it's an absolute banger, guys. It's really, really good. So uh, that's going to be a chunker. In fact, it comes out in December, and I may make that my only book for December. Uh, I may just kind of keep a loose pile of possibilities for December if I finish Wind and Truth. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know how December is going to work because... That that big boy is over twelve hundred pages. I'm I'm sure. So <laughs> we shall see. I haven't even put in my pre-order for it yet. I I will, but I, I'm just kind of waiting until the cover gets released and and I kind of get all the fills with the cover, you know. And so yeah, I I, I think that might be my only book in December. I might squeeze in one more. We'll just have to see. Because, uh, you know, December's kind of a crazy month. It's the end of the year. It's the holidays. All that stuff is happening. So, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it loose, guys. I'm keeping it loose. And then, there's one final book that is a possibility for this year. I don't think it's going to come out this year. But that would be 12 Months by Jim Butcher, 
That is the next book in the Dresden Files series. Like I said, I don't think it's probably going to release in 2024 because his completion meter shows 68% and that probably doesn't leave enough time for going to the editors and publishers and everything and to get the book ready for release and do all the marketing and everything. So this is just a very slight possibility. I'm throwing it out there, but I'm, I'm guessing it's probably coming in 2025. So, which, which is fine. We don't want Jim to rush his genius. Let's just let him do his thing. He releases books a lot quicker than most popular authors. And so, you know, we're, we're just happy that he's still writing Dresden. And uh, I, I can't wait to read the next Dresden book. So I'm throwing that one out there. And then, guys, I'm just going to do a quick shameless plug right here at the end. If you want to skip this and go to the end of the video, you can. But I do have to put in a shameless plug. My book is coming out this year, so just, I, I'm very excited for that. If I wasn't excited for my own book to be released in 2024, what kind of an author would I be? I mean, come on, it, it just, you know, grant, grant me this little, little moment of excitement. <laughs> So yes, my book, The Nomad's Crucible, will be out before the holidays. That's my goal. So um, anyway, all right. So you guys have heard all my rambling about plans that I have for the rest of the year. I will be reading other books as well, but these are the ones that I am most excited about. What are you excited to read for the rest of 2024? Let me know in the comments. Tell me all the good stuff. Uh, tell me books that you're even kind of nervous about, like you're not sure what's going to happen or n not sure if you'll enjoy it, but you're excited about the possibility. Let me know that too. And until next time, make sure you read more books. I'll talk with you then. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my patrons. I really appreciate all you do to support my channel. Thank you so much.